Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you caught my scanner video last week, then you know that I scanned the gimbal that I machined, then carved for Brandon's device. The plan is to have PCBOA print some gimbals for me, one of which I'll use for the hand that I'm building for Chris, the electrician from Florida, as well as some extras out of mag aluminum and titanium. That's the big picture plan. Let me tell you what's going on with the execution. So, beginning in 1938, the de minimis rule was introduced as Section 321 of the Tariff Act. The initial threshold was for $1 and has been raised several times throughout the years, most recently to $800 in 2016. The de minimis rule allows you to import into the United States packages that have a stated value of $800 or less, tariff and duty free. Those were the days when you could surf eBay without a care in the world as to where things were being shipped from. Sadly, as of May 2nd, 2025, de minimis has expired and is no longer a thing. Or $100 worth of something from China, have it shipped to the US, and depending upon what it is, expect to receive an invoice from customs for anywhere between 30 to 95% or more of the stated value. The initial tariff rate was set at 120% or $100 per postal item. Effective May 14th, it was lowered to 54%. And as of June 1st, 2025, the per postal item fee was increased to $200. The proceeds collected from this tax are distributed directly to the U.S. Department of Treasury and can be used for anything they see fit. It doesn't go to anything that you think it should, like subsidizing manufacturing in the U.S. or anything that would actually help stimulate building things here. It just flows into the general fund and is probably being used to purchase gold plated toilet seats for some bureaucrat's office. You can rest assured that there is absolutely no possibility that the business importing the products is simply going to eat the increased cost to bring the items into the country for resale. This tax will most definitely be passed along and increase the price that you ultimately pay for your whatever. Satire aside, let me tell you how the recent expiration of de minimis has impacted my project. The gimbals I'm having printed out of aluminum ended up being right at $15 a piece, where the titanium gimbals cost right at $150 each. Under de minimis, that would be it. Of course, you still need to add $40 for shipping, $13 for whatever DPT service fee is, and another $50 because I usually pay for that thing through PayPal. Those fees don't count towards your duty-free $800. Now, under the new policy, I paid all of that total and had the privilege to pay an additional $413 in taxes and duties. That's right at a 63% tariff. I was less than awesome with having the privilege of paying this tax, so I shopped the parts to Exometry to see what it would have cost me to have the parts printed domestically. And let me tell you, I was taken aback by the quote that I received. To have the gimbals printed in mag aluminum by someone in the U.S., I could expect to pay $335 each for the same parts that I'm only paying $15 for out of Shenzhen. That's 22 times the money for the same part. Now, I understand free market and all, but at that price, it would almost make more sense to machine them in-house. It's for sure going to be some interesting times in the near foreseeable future if you work in manufacturing. Of course, this too shall pass, and you need to do your best to embrace the suck, because it is what it is, and nobody in power really cares what you think of the matter. Do your best to be of good cheer. To help ease your mind on what's going on economically, here's a couple of videos of a little gray kitty that someone dropped off at my shop. It's been hanging around the shop for a little over a month now. It was definitely someone's pet. And lately, I've been feeding it frisky seafood blend kibble. It's gone through just about 30 pound bag. We're going to try some special kitty kibble next. It is not a petting cat yet. The closest I've been able to get to it is about four feet. It is a super smart cat though. It comes into the shop to get me if it can see the bottom of the food bowl. Someday I'm sure it'll let me pet it. It is super sad that someone abandoned it here, but I'm glad that I have the means to take care of it. Let me know what you think of the new cat. 
And let me know if you've had to deal with the new tariff policy. Thanks for watching.